I was sitting in my office. It was a normal, cloudy, depressing day when a man stumbled in. Small, thin shoulders, weak looking. I could probably kick his ass pretty easily. He was blabbering about some friend of his, Spencer Griswold, who went missing a few days ago. He introduced himself as Jack Golis and he handed me a fat stack of Benjamins. I decided to take the case because I needed the money, but I was pretty pissed to be working for some low-down grocery store bagging client. I conducted a quick Google search and found that Spencer was in the band Procopio, so I headed out to see what his band members had to say. The place was a mess. At first I thought the band was playing some crap music that would make me want to blow my own brains out, and I was about to yell stop, but I listened to more and unfortunately it actually wasn't that bad. That pissed me off because I like yelling at people. I interviewed the lead guitarist. She said Spencer was always there on time and it wasn't like him to miss a practice like that. She then went on to describe some music mumbo jumbo about how Spencer wrote great walking bass lines or something, but I was no longer listening. Next, I checked out the media lab at the local high school where he was supposedly working on some video game and animated short. They had the game they were working on up on screen, some crap like Terror Zone, and it actually looked kind of fun. They all had the same thing to say. It wasn't like him not to be there, but again, no new information. I sat back at my office. I was at a dead end. If I failed this case, I would have to go and actually get my detective's license. But then I got an idea. Maybe he was at home. It was a stretch, but I made the trip. When I got there, I talked to his mom, and sure enough, she said he was in the study editing some college admissions video he'd been working on for days. That Jack Goals was an idiot not to check Spencer's house. Oh well, I got my money.